Well, it's a uh, house fight week going for you so far. Uh, enjoying Kansas City? Uh, to be honest, and I go outside, yeah, you know, I just try to, oh, like somebody picking me up in the airport, brings me to the hotel. But the lady said I have a really good barbecue here. I'm very excited for that. I can't wait. Yeah, the, the post fight, I'm sure, will be a, a good feast. Um, let's talk about the fight itself. Billy Quarantillo, you got him in the co-main event in front of fans. Uh, talk to me about this opportunity and how excited are you to get back in there? Very happy. I think I'm the king of the co-main event. <laughs> I think nobody in UFC have a co-main event more than me. And very excited, you know. Quarantino is a great fighter. He's a tough guy. He's keep moving forward. How I put the show, I'm very excited for this one. I know it's going to be a big war. The last time we saw you was uh, in March of last year. So I guess, what's the last 13 months been like for you? Focus on recovering my knee. You know, I have a really bad injury. I have a f three different injuries in my knee. The first time in my career, I need to pull out the fight and enjoy the family. I think, you know, but I'm recovering. I'm 100% right now. Really enjoy my family and time to get back to work. And as somebody that's never had to, to pull out of a fight, I'm assuming that was a pretty difficult decision for you? Or... Super hard because, you know, the, a lot of fights I was fighting with some anger, you know. And for this one, I really try, but I can't walk. I can't walk. It's impossible, you know. But, yeah, very happy to be healthy right now. I'm 100%. And, yeah, I'm very happy. Did you say you had surgery? Yeah, I need surgery. Like uh, four different injuries in my knee. Three, three. Crazy. Uh, feeling pretty good now, I assume, though. 100% healthy, you know. I think that's the most important and exciting. And you call yourself the king of the co-main event just then. Um, you're somebody, every time you fight, people post a picture of your record and, like, say, look at all these names that he's fought. He's fought all these tough people in a row. Mm -hmm. For you, where you sit now, did you ever, like, have you ever taken a step back and thought, like, I should have taken an easier path to where I am, or I should have, you know, some guys take kind of sidesteps when they lose, but you always were going forward. Was, did, you, did you ever think that maybe you should have gone about things a little bit differently? Or? Definitely not. Definitely. That's why I'm 13, almost 13 years in UFC, you know, because UFC knows, you know, he, he gave me whatever. UFC gave me, I say yes. I never, I never say no for a fight. You know, sometimes my, my manager, my team say, oh, I think that's not good for right now. I guess so mad. Was, yeah, that's good for me right now. I won't fight anybody. I never say no for a fight. And that's why I was 13 years in UFC. Why is that? Because I'm a fighter. Good answer. Um, last couple of fights haven't gone your way. Um, can you talk to me about what you've learned, though, and, and how you've, you're going to improve from them? The last couple of fights didn't go your way. What did you learn from them? Yeah, man. Every fight you learn, you know, especially the last two. But one thing I, I try to get some good, you know, for, for, for the last two losses. One thing I, I learned is see how much I feel better. That's crazy, you know. My last couple of camps, I feel better than ever physical you know mentally and i try to get focused on this way you know i definitely learn i'm getting better and making me more excited to the next one great thank you edson um i was i was wondering you know as your career's you know winding down are you thinking about going back up to lightweight or are you enjoying featherweight still i really enjoy the featherweight you know i feel it's a little more healthy for me, believe it or not. And when I fight 155, I have to kill myself to keep my weight high, you know, to keep my weight like I try between like a 180, 185. I have to eat, 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 you know, because I have a lot of training partners at 155. The guy's huge. I have to stay <laughs> big too. But... Never know, never know. You know, I feel good. One fit five is still I, most of my training partners. One fit fiver. I feel great. And one forty five, and feel good. One fit five. Uh, let's see. Let's see the next one. It's gonna you have to see, give me a good fight. One fit five. Why not? Do you regret not moving down sooner to featherweight? Sorry. Do you regret not moving down to featherweight sooner in in, in your career? 
Como é que é? Você lamenta ter, não ter feito essa mudança antes na tua carreira? Não, não, definitely não. I think I think I did it in the right time. Awesome, awesome. Um, you know, you said you know you're 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 the co-main event, but uh, are you hoping for that main event again pretty soon? Why not? Definitely, <laughs> definitely. You know, the main event always uh, it's awesome. We have opportunity to fight five rounds. You know, but why not? I'm always ready. You know, for three, for five rounds, I, I always ready. And then uh, well, that one for me, leg kicks. Uh, sometimes you, th in your last few fights, sometimes you throw them, sometimes you don't throw them. Is that just by design, by like your your, uh, you know, your your fight camp and what you were thinking, or was it just you didn't feel like didn't feel like throwing kicks? I think the most it's a feeling. Sometimes you know, some opponents it's good to throw leg kicks. Some opponents not. You know, it's a dangerous spot to to throw something and. Just feeling, you know. I feel if the guy give me opportunity to kick, I kick. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Just one question over here. Uh, at your at one point in your career, you were looking forward to fighting uh, some of the guys that you may have looked up to, and now it's kind of the other way around. You know, how do you approach a fight when you know that a guy that may have been looking at you or, or watching you, studying you for afar for a long time, and now he gets that opportunity? How do you approach those fights where you know, like? The, the mentees kind of fighting the mentor, if you will, and that type of thing. To be honest, for me, it's nothing changed. Like I said, I'm a fighter, you know. Of course, I won't fight everybody. I don't care. I don't care. I really don't care. I fight whatever you have to give me, I say yes. And, yeah, like I said, I'm a fighter, man. If the guy call me, it's good. If he don't call me, I call some. I, I don't like to call. Like I said, I say yes for anybody. Um, that, you know? For me, it's not. I'm a fighter.